So I was scrolling through YouTube the other day and I came across this. Ben Shapiro destroys Karl Marx in 60 seconds. And I think that's a little unfortunate because Karl Marx spent like, what, 40, 50 years being a philosopher. And this guy just comes along and destroys it in 60 seconds. So obviously I had to take a look. And it only took me about 5 seconds to realize that I have to make a reply to this. So let's watch it together. This is the philosophy of collectivism. Oh boy, starting off bad right out of the gate. Um, Karl Marx wrote nothing about collectivism. Now, I would add proof at this point, but there is no way to prove a negative, so I just went to the Wikipedia page of collectivism, searched for Marx and found nothing. That's the closest to proving a negative we can get. Maybe he will do better in the next 10 seconds. Let's watch. The philosophy that says that human beings suffer because the Judeo-Christian system expects too much of us individually. And now again, but I interrupt him every time he's wrong. The philosophy. Collectivism is not a philosophy. That says that human beings suffer. Collectivism doesn't say that people are suffering. It says that a better alternative system is possible. Because the Judeo-Christian system. There is no such thing as a Judeo-Christian system. system. Expects too much of us individually. Collectivism doesn't say that the system is expecting too much of the individual. It's saying that the individuals would be better off if they collectivized. Judeo-Christian philosophy expects us to struggle. To strive. Again, there is no such thing as Judeo-Christian philosophy. Judeo-Christian philosophy demands that we do our best. I'm 95% certain that he's talking about neoliberal capitalist philosophy. And that we act virtuously on the individual level. But maybe he's just talking about individualism and calling it Judeo-Christian philosophy. I'm not sure. So that we can feel secure without invading each other's rights. Individualism doesn't make people feel secure. Security is knowing that you have health care if you need it. Individualism is working so you can afford healthcare and if you can't you die. He also said something about invading each other's rights but he doesn't mention what rights so I won't go into that. The Judeo-Christian tradition says that with freedom comes responsibility. That's not Judeo-Christian, that's capitalist, it's also wrong and I will go into that in another video. Maybe, if someone asks for it. Write a comment. Collectivist philosophy however thinks differently. They expect us to give our individual striving up. No more striving, no more struggle. You can still be an individual in collectivism, but yeah, it's true, there should be no more struggling in collectivism. I don't know why you would want to struggle, but I suppose, point for him. All we have to do is trade our individual responsibility for the comfort of collective power. Well, yeah, sounds like a good plan. Let's trade the individual's responsibility to fight for their own survival to collective power in which we don't have to fight for survival. He says it's like it's a bad thing. Collectivist philosophy points out that individual virtue isn't natural. That's just completely wrong and frankly I have no idea where he got it. It is a struggle. And we can avoid that struggle by handing over all power to a nanny state. Wait a second, now we're talking about a state? I thought we were talking about individualism versus collectivism. I suppose he doesn't know that collectivism without a state can exist as well? Judeo-Christianity says, you're free, and therefore you must give. Yeah, you must give to... Um, well, it can't be to the collective, because that's what he's talking against. So, you must give to... Um, I don't know. Collectivist philosophy says, you are unfree, and thus the state must take on your behalf. Don't you think that people under collectivism are more free, since the individual struggle for survival is not as important? Maybe people who don't have to worry about starving are actually more free than people who have to. Also, as I mentioned before, collectivism does not require a state. At all. I don't know where he got that. And that's also where his video ends, so we're not gonna find out. And at the end I'd like to remind you again that Karl Marx has nothing to do with collectivism. And all Ben talked about in this video was collectivism. So the title is completely different from the video. You can actually report the video for that in case you were wondering. Not that I tell you to do that. I mean, you could do that. I'm not gonna stop you. I didn't report it. But like, you could, maybe. You could also, you know, go to the comments and tell me that I'm a libtard. Or you could like, share and subscribe. I don't know. See ya.